Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, you know I come back with that video just to make you think. Now we have SoftBank CEO speaks on the digital economy and then also basically the money that he has on the sidelines to make moves. They know something as big is about to happen in the next few months. And guys, y'all already know I've been over stock buybacks. They were against the law until President Reagan. So guys, we have all these big companies with all this money sitting on the line. Apple, of course, Warren Buffett's Berkshire. They have the most money sitting on the sidelines because they're ready to make that move. Just like I said, a collapse is about to come. Y'all enjoy the video. Well, look, you know, before mass production, uh, distribution of the antibodies, the uh, vaccine comes, uh, some major company go, could crash. Uh, the sa savior of the those, uh, you know, collapse of the domino effect uh, could happen. You know, like a Lehman crisis, just one bank uh, crisis made entire, uh, you know, the banking industry shake up and that made worldwide cra uh, you know, crash of the stock market. So anything can happen in this kind of, you know, uh, uh, situation. I, I think it's getting better with the news of the vaccines, uh, success of the early test, but I still want to be prepared for the worst case scenario. So that's why Today we have now, you know, almost $80 billion cash uh, in hand ourselves. Yeah, many optionalities, okay? If, if we can invest in these AI, you know, front-end companies, uh, if we can invest more into those opportunities, uh, I will be aggressive. And it is maybe a, a better price now for the investing into unicorns because they need the funding. And of course, if our share price drop down, I want to buy back our own shares much cheaper and uh, much more ownership to myself because I'm a believer of our own company. Uh, in, in March, our share price dropped down, I think, almost 70%. <laughs> I, in, in two, three weeks, I said, oh, my God, this is, this is the best time for me to buy back our own share. And our discount to the, our underlying asset went over 70%, like 75%. So <laughs> I could buy our own company one-fourth the price of underlying asset. I said, oh my God, I should buy, I should buy. There <laughs> so cash was, was the best thing that I could have for all kinds of optionalities. Azure with NVIDIA AI to Microsoft Office. And you could imagine all of the ways that AI can help us uh, summarize our emails in the morning, maybe prioritize our work, yeah. identify, identify very urgent matters, uh, recommend the next action. When we type email, of course, the grammar will be always very good. Uh, of course, uh, there are many things that we can do with AI. And so now it's in Office. Uh, we have uh, AI in agriculture with John Deere uh, in, um, uh, in, uh, in um, uh, robotics uh, in Japan with Fanuc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with uh, farming with Kubota, Kubota, uh, Kubota Industries. You have um, uh, AI in, uh, uh, in uh, of course, transportation. Uh, the, the, the list of industries now that AI is going into is really quite phenomenal. And so the, I, would, I would say that, that the second generation of AI is enterprise, yeah. turning every company into an AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third generation, and this is, this is where you and I uh, uh, fantasized and, and talked about uh, the future of, of AI, the largest opportunity, of course, is when AI moves out to the world. Yeah. And AI is now autonomous machines. Yeah. Uh, uh, everything will be a robot. Uh, buildings will be a robot. Uh, cars will be a robot. There will be two-wheel robots, two-leg robots, two-arm robots. Uh, the future, your future uh, um, uh, artificial leg to help people walk is a robot. Yeah. 
your future, right? Your future wheelchair will be a robot. Well, I I, I think the biggest robot is the uh, autonomous car. Uh, so it's it's a gigantic uh, gigantic industry, and uh, so people still doubt. Some there are some so many people still doubt. Can autonomous uh, driving uh, would be uh, safer or as as safe as human drivers? Okay, uh, you and I are a true believer of the autonomous driving, but uh, uh, let let the audience know that where are we in the autonomous driving stage? And five years, and then ten years. Where uh, what's the level of autonomous driving? Uh, you know. The capability and safety uh, Can you comment on that? Uh, there are, I, I would break autonomous driving into three large categories. Okay. The first category is autonomous vehicles that is not moving people in closed environments or even in open environments, but moving slowly. For example, delivery grocery. There's nobody inside just the uh, lettuce and milk and eggs and it's not very it's a very slow moving car maybe only moving at 5 10 15 miles per hour and uh, no harm will come right. no harm will come that will be completely autonomous yeah uh, e e even e e even inside the logistics center the warehouse exactly. right it's, there will be hundreds of millions of that yeah. just without even thinking about humans there will be hundreds of millions of that per year. Yeah. Second, uh, inside inside heavily mapped areas, regions that are very well understood, there will be taxi services that are essentially driving on a invisible rail. It's almost like a rail tram, except it's based on AI. Right. And of course, it's much more advanced than a tram but it's driving on digital rails, digital maps. Very, still very complicated, but you can imagine the technology is possible. Yeah. In fact, uh, uh, Google just announced, right? Waymo just announced that Arizona, their cars are now completely driverless. Yeah. So it has begun. Mm -hmm. The thing about engineering, as you know, is, is very well is the moment that someone achieves it, the fact that it's possible, everyone will, everyone else will achieve it. Yeah. The art of the possible is the first thing for innovation. Now that somebody does it, it will become better, lower cost, higher quality, longer range, incredibly fast. Yeah. That's the nature of competition. That's the nature of engineering. So people, people still ask question about what happens if the dog run on, on the street, the birds comes and the heavy rain and the snow, all those long tail, uh, very rare case, can uh, autonomous driving be safe enough uh, compared to the human drivers? It will be safer than a human driver. I absolutely agree with you. 